Oh, Kundalini, you know all about chakras, this, that. But this power of Paramachaitanya is in every particle, into every atom. And <coughs> it acts in such a manner that it directs, it pushes you, it takes you to the path of benevolence. Sometimes people say, Mother, I wanted, you see, to buy this shop, I couldn't get it and all that. It is for your benevolence you didn't get, thank God. After ten days they'll come and tell, thank God I didn't get that. So gradually through experience you start understanding that we don't have to worry. If you are lost on the way, normally people get very upset, but such yogis don't. Oh, very nice, must be something here that God has brought us here. This action slightly then changes. I would say the person who is overacting start thinking now, surrender, Islam, surrender. Give this problem to this Paramchaita. And it works. Such tremendous things have happened in this world just by bandhans, that it is unbelievable how these things are happening. Even supposing you find there are so many murders, this thing has happened, that has happened. This is also just to express the presence of Param Chaitanya, it's Krita. It's uh, working out, the way it works. Krutha means the one which is done. Then you start realizing that this power you can achieve through your Kundalini. So when your Kundalini rises, that is also a reflection of Adi Shakti. Like we can say, we see one part of moon, the another part we don't see. In the same way, this power, when rises within you and touches this Paramachaitan, then you become empowered by that. That's how you are Sajogis. But you are not God. The incarnations can say, I am God. You are not incarnations. But none of the incarnations have ever said that they are Adi Shakti. They cannot. This power of Adi Shakti, which we call the Param Chaitanya, is the power that loves you has complete control of the nature. It understands, it thinks, it knows everything. Everything about you, it knows. It works in every angle, in every walk of your life. It is with you entirely, as if Supposing you fall into a river which is flowing fast and you cannot swim anymore, you cannot use your hands anymore, you start flowing with it. And then you realize that flowing with it is a better thing than to try to get out of it. But just flowing with it, just enjoy all the nature around you, you don't get drowned. On the contrary, you feel you are elevated and you are flowing with it. Then you understand, what am I to do about something? 
when it is done by Param Chaitanya formula. But credit should be given to your Kundalini which has worked it out, has put you onto that shore, has put you onto that beautiful heavenly uh, kingdom of God. Thus you understand there are two things that have happened, that first your mother, your Kundalini which is within you, which is your own mother which has been with you throughout, has given you this birth. And then it has taken to that power, which power you can use yourself, you are empowered by that. You'll be amazed how this power helps. I mean, you see, I'm, I shouldn't say that you can have all the powers, I shouldn't say that. But today, you see, they were complaining about somebody, immediately I told the name of the person. Now you'll say, how I knew? But I just know. That's all I can say, I just know. Supposing you are dealing with carpets, all right, so you know what pattern is this, what pattern is that, from where it has come, everything, you know, isn't it? If you are there, you know everything. If this power is everywhere, one has to know everything. The connection is such, if you want to know, you can know anything. So they have called also Buddha as Sarva Lokiteshwara that he sees all the lokas. How does he see Sarva Lokiteshwara? Because his ego, what we call, is the parama ego, you can call it, mahat ahankara, knows everything, while your ego doesn't know anything. Because it doesn't know anything, you are enveloped by it. If he had known, if the yugo had known what is the truth, you will be free person, absolutely free. But you don't want to surrender your ego, you don't want to allow yourself to flow into the river as Tao, oh, he said. No, you don't want to enjoy. You want to have your own uh, speciality. Individuality is very different from having a kind of an ego within yourself that I am this, I am that. So this differentiation must start. After realization, in the light of realization, you should start seeing things. Now the first and foremost thing is to tell your ego to sit down, keep quiet, you don't know anything. 